Did you know that a microcar is the smallest iteration of a vehicle with an engine typically smaller than 700 cc's and is most effective for urban mobility? Come along as we showcase an affordable and innovative electric microcar in today's video with flexible mileage and a range perfect for day-to-day -day tasks. And stick around until the end of the video for a look at our honorable mentions. Let's get to it. To get notified when a new video is posted, hit the bell icon below, right next to the subscribe button. Thank you for watching Mind's Eye Design. Opel is a German automobile manufacturer, but it wasn't always that way. For nearly 90 years, Opel was a subsidiary of the American company General Motors. The Rox E is a sleek, modern little thing with bright accents, a can-do attitude, and measures just under 8 feet long. It seats two with a little room in the back, making it perfect for the daily commuter and delivery drivers. But how helpful is this emission-free, fully electric urban Voyager? Well, it promises a range of over 46 miles, which is more than enough for the average American daily commute of around 39 miles. Aside from being a practical, smart, electric vehicle made for urban mobility, it has a progressive payment plan with options between 5,000 to 15,000 miles. And you can pay for the Roxy through a financing program for roughly the same price as a monthly public transit ticket at about $50. Opel is a company of vision, and they see the potential that something like the Rox E offers not only the everyday civilian, but the emergency services, such as the fire brigade. That's why they made a Rox E specifically for one of their fire brigades at one of their plants, with a unique signaling system, front flashers, and emergency numbers. The turning radius and small stature make the Roxy a beauty to handle, and it can get into places easier than a standard car or truck. If you're interested in getting a Roxy for yourself, but you don't want to go through a financing program, you can buy one outright for just $8,000. Head on down to the comment section to leave your thoughts on the video and the Roxy electric micro car. Your feedback is always greatly appreciated. And stick around for our honorable mentions. Back in 2019, German startup Ono Motion delivered a bold prototype of what would eventually be today's Ono electric delivery vehicle. The company had been developing e-vehicles as early as 2016, but pivoted to e-cargo bikes in the spring of 2017. By 2020, the Berlin-based e-mobility company began delivering the first Onos, initially to the German market and then to the rest of Europe. At the heart of the Ono is a Delta trike, one wheel at the front and two at the rear, with the driver enclosed in a weatherproof windshield wiper equipped cabin. A custom-built container on caster wheels sits behind the driver's cab and can be swapped in and out via the integrated ramp at the rear. This way, delivery drivers and couriers can have whole preloaded containers collected from depots and swapped out instantly. These containers have a storage volume of over 2 cubic meters. They can carry a maximum full-laden cargo of 200 kilograms. There are also plans for climate-controlled containers for food and medical deliveries. In terms of power, you're welcome to go old school and pedal your entire delivery route. But a hot swappable 1.4 kilowatt hour green pack lithium battery paired with dual wheel hub motors can help riders reach a maximum speed of 16 miles per hour or 25 kilometers per hour. On the other hand, if you don't feel like pedaling, the handlebar mounted throttle provides four miles per hour or six kilometers per hour of unassisted power. Just one of these batteries is suitable for a range of about 30 kilometers, but this can be doubled if a second battery is added. Set up over select locations in Berlin, riders can drop into an Ono battery exchange station and swap out their dead batteries for freshly charged equivalents. There are no keys on the Ono, just an RFID sensor activated by a specially coated chip 
that locks the driver's cabin and container doors. This allows you to decouple the container from the main unit. Also on board, riders will find GPS tracking, integrated lighting that includes headlights and indicator lamps, wing mirrors, and a full-featured LCD dashboard display. You'll find Ono retailers and battery exchange locations across most of Germany's major cities, with plans to expand into other northern European locations in the next few years. One of the most interesting elements of the Ono is that outright ownership isn't the only way to get your hand on one. Ono Motion offers a subscription or month-by-month -month service that includes battery exchange for around 490 euros per month. Could you utilize a battery exchange program instead of managing your own recharging? Let us know in the comments below. Ramping up the tempo a bit, we come to a company that is heavily driven by global warming. They think that we must rethink how we eat, live, drive. Arkimoto believes in a transition to smaller EVs like the FUV. The FUV, or Fun Utility Vehicle, is a beautiful machine designed with a purpose. The base version is meant for consumers as a clean, affordable alternative to your current mode of transportation. The FUV does well at its purpose, too. It has a top speed of 75 miles per hour and a max city range of 102 miles. It has the power to keep up with its contemporaries, but also has the lithe frame of a snake serpentining through streets and trails alike. The FUV pollutes the air less, as it has an electric motor. Still, it also pollutes the street space less, allowing for more control. That's especially useful when dealing with the other models based on the FUV design. The Deliverator is a courier variant of the FUV that still has those spec numbers, but with a shift in the design, catering to those who work with their vehicles. Perhaps even more important than either of those two is the Rapid Responder, the emergency response variant of the FUV. This version is especially useful for those in medical, law, or firefighting. The fire department of Eugene Springfield even deploys rapid responders, and they have some great things to say about it. The FUV and all its variants are certainly a viable consideration in the new market, and they offer unique help to people. Having absolutely nothing to do with paddling a boat, the canoe all-electric pickup truck is built with the tradesman in mind. It has powered workbenches, tool storage, and a modular expandable bed for carrying materials. Oh yeah, and it doesn't burn fossil fuels, which is always a good thing. The goal was to make a modular and adaptable vehicle, providing maximum interior space while also supporting a wide range of equipment useful for either work or play. The canoe will come out in both a rear engine option producing 600 horsepower and 745 newton meters of torque, or a mental sounding dual engine option, one powering each of the axles. The adjustable truck bed gains 30 inches of extra length when extended, making it perfect for carrying timber, pipes, or just a whole bunch of camping gear. An optional rooftop tent also doubles as a solar panel for charging up on the go. Described as the next evolution of personal mobility, this electric vehicle made in LA has the potential to completely redefine how we get around in the city. Eli's self-stated goal is to revolutionize urban trips and connect cities and communities in a new way that reduces congestion and pollution. It comes in relatively cheap too, competing against the industry giants like Tesla. The Zero is completely zero emission and is designed for short trips. Perfect for those who live in the city and don't need their cars for long road trips.
The last item on our list is probably the most bizarre and so probably the most futuristic innovation in personal transport you'll ever see. The Nimbus is, in essence, a closed-off windowed bicycle that can sit two people, a passenger and a driver. To turn, the whole vehicle shifts just like a bicycle. The physics take a little getting used to, but what's impressive about the Nimbus is that it boasts speeds far higher than what you would expect of a bike with its size. At full pace, the Nimbus clocks in at an impressive 50 miles per hour, more than enough to keep up with urban traffic. Also included are three airbags, automated emergency braking, lane departure warning, ABS, and traction control. You're able to add climate control, Bluetooth speakers, and a touchscreen control display. Its price is comparable to the high-end premium e-bikes, only with all-weather protection and luxury inclusions as standard. If you enjoyed this video, you could help us out by hitting the like button, subscribe, and keep up to date on future posts.